Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today and today is chaos per usual. That's my motto and I'm sticking to it. guys other than the chaos that's been going on Bruno my dear Bruno who is right there behind me he ate something he was not supposed to he's totally fine it was not something poisonous to dogs it just really didn't agree with him and yeah really didn't agree with him so we have spent the last two days dealing with that um yeah, I mean, it's like he is doggy crones right now. It's, it's, phew. He woke me up at 5, 5.30 this morning because he really had to go OUT. And so I let him out and then he had to go out multiple times. And he threw up twice on our carpet. He's doing fine now. He's actually eating again. He did not eat yesterday. I got him to drink a little bit because I was a little worried he was going to get dehydrated not drinking anything, but got him to drink today, got him to eat normal again today. He was a struggle and he was struggling, so we've been dealing with that. And oh, I have to show you guys. So Don, Don is a subscriber. I think I've seen you on the chats, like the live chats on my premieres. And oh my goodness, you sent something amazing in the mail to us, to our P.O. box, which I heard. Oh, oh, so my P.O. box was expiring. I guess I got it a year ago around this time. And so I renewed it online either the day before or the day that it was supposed to expire. I'm not sure. But I did it online thinking it would be instant and our post office didn't receive it for a few days, I guess. So they assumed that I was, you know, not renewing the box, canceling it. And in that time, they received the boxes from Don, and so I heard that you were on the phone a lot with them trying to coordinate. I really appreciate it, and I, t <sighs> I mean, what you sent was um, just awesome, and it didn't just put a smile on my face, it really put a smile on Zach's face, and he's been dealing with a lot of stress, so we are so grateful. Let me show you what he had sent. All right, I am sitting on the floor, but I've got the box of things that you sent. Um, you sent me so many useful things, ostomy supplies that I use, and oh my gosh, this, couldn't believe it. I, I really can't tell you how useful this stuff is to me. Um, that means the world, and I, I can't even explain it, and I want you to know that I don't, and Zach doesn't expect any of this. Like, please don't feel the need to send anything to us. Um, I'm truly grateful for the comments and the support that we get. It is incredible. Like, I am shocked every time I premiere a video with how many people come on and chat and how many people leave comments. Uh, we're dealing with a lot of um, not great things things and people um so this just reminds us that there are kind friendly people out there um that's all i'm gonna say but I i'm just so thankful and then the other thing that you sent us i don't know how you knew <laughs> you sent us cameras like security cameras and Zach and I we have security cameras around our house and we have it around the outside of our barn just because we need to do that unfortunately now but we have been looking for something for inside of the barn because we want to make sure that you know we've got everything protected and we know what's going on in there when maybe we aren't necessarily out there so I think that we will be setting that up in the next couple of days that was just so thoughtful um we're very excited about that. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing all of the coordination you did <laughs> to send these packages. I'm sorry about the post office box. 
As far as I know, it is all good now. Zach wound up going and talking to the lady there who I think you may have spoken to. So I think it's all situated. Anyways, I am going to actually start dinner in a crock pot in just a few minutes because I want it to cook for a few hours. And I'm going to head out to the barn to see what Zach is up to. All right, before I go out, I'm just going to get dinner started. I've got the crock pot here and I'm going to do, I don't know, is it chili? I'm just basically putting black beans, corn, tomatoes, pepper, um, that kind of stuff in there. Honestly, don't know how much I'm going to eat of it. Um, so I'm just going to make a small batch more for Zach. And then I'm going to cook up an acorn squash. So I actually bought these at the store because I'm hoping to can the ones that I'm growing by accident. So I bought some to cut in half and roast in the oven. That I'll probably eat a bit more of. Also, I had to show you, look at my green beans. Maybe you guys would know better than I would. My green beans have produced so much, like way more than I expected or ever have had success in the past. I don't know, maybe it's just a good spot for them. Maybe some of you, sorry the lighting keeps changing. The sun is like going in and out of clouds. No, it's not, because then it would be very close to the earth and I would probably not be here anymore. Anyway, maybe some of you guys know if you grow green beans, if you're, you know, much better at gardening than I am, how long do green bean plants go for? Because these guys, they just keep producing. And I originally was going to let these kind of get older. I had one here. Here we go. I was going to get it like this, let it grow to this point so I could take the beans out and store them and then like use them as beans. But then I made green beans for us last night from the garden and they were so good. They were so good. So I've actually got 17 cans that I, that Zach and I can, not me, of these green beans. But I'm like, huh, maybe I want more. So I cut all these off. Anyway, let me know how long these plants are supposed to go for because it's still warm out. They seem happy. They're still growing and vining and getting longer. And I'll just keep harvesting as long as it's giving me beans. Anyway, let me get these ingredients into this guy so then I can head out to the barn and help Zach. Ah, uh, this is looking good. All right, never mind. I'm not going outside because Zach came inside. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the cameras? Oh, I'm like... <laughs> Oh, that my God, that was amazing. Uh, very <laughs> surprised and uh, excited to try them out. We're probably going to hook them up in the barn. We got a few spots. We were going to put them while we needed them either way. So this is yeah. amazing. It was awesome. Thank Truly you. Truly surprised, but awesome. Yeah. Surprise. Thank you again. So dinner's cooking. I don't know what to call it. Is that chili? That's uh, what I'm going to call it. I don't know. Sometimes I'll put it of. in like a, a bell pepper. I'll do like a stuffed pepper with that stuff, but not tonight. Anyways, you're heading back out to the barn. Yep. I think I'll stay here. Yeah, and... just doing some more cleanup and got to power march the patio. It's been <laughs> collecting a lot of pollen recently, so. Yeah. And <gasps> sawdust. Staying busy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I will see you in a little bit, and I will update you guys on how the health has been the last couple of days. So things have been better and... I will take that. I will take a good couple of days. Alright guys, I am sitting in our living room and I will give you the update of how I've been doing the last couple of days. I've actually been doing a lot better. I'm so thankful. The Caraphate is the only thing that I'm using right now and it seems to be giving me relief. It seems to be preventing. Let's knock on some more wood here guys. Of course there's no wood around. Where's Zach? need to knock on his head again. It seems like that's preventing those severe stomach aches I was getting. So I am super thankful for that. Uh, the only problem that I'm having, well, two things I guess, my ostomy output is super loose and I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it's because my, my intestines don't want to absorb anything. It just kind of like wants to get everything out. Um, or if it's the caraphate because some of you guys said that when you've taken it you've had really loose ostomy output so i'm i'm not too sure i'm afraid to take like any anti-diarrheal medicines because i don't know how that would affect this and you know if it wants to come out of me 
I kind of just want to let it go out <laughs> rather than like block it all up inside my intestines. I don't know. It's such a balancing act. And then the other issue that I'm having, and I don't know if you could tell by looking at me, I've lost weight. And I mentioned that I lost weight last week. I did lose a little bit of weight. I lost more since then. So it, it scares me a little bit because I'm at my lowest weight in a number of years now. I weighed myself early this morning, um, which I'm always at my lightest early in the morning, so that should be taken into account. Um, but when I was awake with Bruno, I weighed 87, and that is, that's, that's very low for me. I'm normally around 95. I got down to 90, 91, but the last few days, it just seems to keep dropping, and I don't know if it's because I'm not absorbing anything I'm eating, um, or if I'm just dehydrated. I'll say I feel a little dehydrated, so I've really been working on hydration. But I don't feel absurdly like, oh my god, I'm so dehydrated, I need IV fluids or anything. I don't feel like that at all. I have been in that situation, and you feel so bad when you're severely dehydrated. So... I don't know. I don't know what to think, but I'm going to keep my eye on the scale, which I, I freaking hate. I don't like weighing myself very often because I get very focused on the number. Um, I get very nervous when the number drops, so yeah, I, I <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on it just to make sure that I'm okay. Um, but yeah, normally it shows on my face. It's one of the things that my dad can tell. He can look at me and know if I've lost weight or if I've gained weight. Um, so you have to let me know if you see it in my face, if I look any thinner. I hope I don't. I feel like I can see my cheekbone a little bit more, which, ugh, I hate that. But we'll hope that we can get this situated and figure out what's wrong and hopefully get rid of it. Because <laughs> I don't want to keep doing this. I want to be helpful to Zach. I don't want to be stressed out all the time. And unfortunately, anything stressful really, really impacts me quickly. <laughs> so I am just trying to be helpful in the ways that I can be helpful. I don't know if it's doing anything, but. All right, guys, we actually just came outside for a minute for the doggos. And I have to show you, we've been growing a pumpkin by accident. And I know I showed you the little pumpkins. This is a big pumpkin and definitely a surprise to us. So let's see how big it is today. Well, here's the plant. I think you can already see the pumpkin. <laughs> That's Look at amazing. That. That's so cool. So here's my hand for reference. And he's turning orange on the other side. So, and he's got a little friend right there. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Here are all of the green beans I was talking about earlier. You can see there's a whole bunch. And even down here, like, look at all the little babies. So I don't know how long he's going to be going, but I'm going to keep picking from him. All right, guys, we finished up dinner, and now I have my acorn squash right here. I'm trying not to spill it. You can see the butter on it and the brown sugar and honey. Um, I got this one from the store. I didn't grow this one, so Zach says he can taste the difference. I don't know if that means it doesn't taste as good or what, but I'm going to find out. Uh, but yeah, very simple. I just cooked it at 375 for 45 minutes and easy enough to throw into the oven. But that stuff really sits well with my stomach, so I'm excited to eat it. And it's kind of like a dessert sort of thing because it's sweet. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this update video, and um, we will be seeing you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. They can't see you waving. <laughs> Bye, guys.